Hey y'all, welcome to the Clock Tower. I'm Colton, here with Brandon. Not a whole lot going on today, just a couple of things we wanted to talk about. First, Brandon and I went to a Spy Family draft on Saturday. Draft format, for those of you that don't know, is a format uh, a lot like Magic's draft format, where everybody opens packs and chooses cards. You build a deck out of the cards that you choose, and then you play each other in that format, and you get to keep the cards that you pick. We had nine people at our event, and it was a good time. You build a 36-card deck, six climaxes. We've talked about this before uh, with the guy who kind of designed the draft format at our shop, uh, Brandon Ratterink. so we will link that in the description if you want to know more about how draft format works. But we had a good time, and uh, the level zero Anya combo is broken, in draft specifically. It's also very good in constructed. Yeah, no, it was a good time. Thrill of opening packs and being able to kind of play the strategy game as to, oh, maybe this will make it around kind of thing. Just kind of being able to choose your picks. Well, it was a lot of fun. So highly recommend that you try to do some draft stuff at your shop. If you have a popular set coming up that people are going to buy into, maybe Chainsaw Man, for example, draft is an excellent way to get to open some packs and get to play some of the cards in the new set that you might not be able to play in more constructed formats. Moving on, there was a stream last week. Not going to spend too much time on this because it's kind of old news at this point, but we're at least going to recap everything that's important. First, a couple of new set announcements. Shakigan no Shana has been announced for English as a premium booster pack. And then two different Love Life sets, Love Life School Idol Festival 10th Anniversary, and Love Life School Idol Festival 2. First of all, wasn't expecting any Love Life stuff, but here we are. Support for OG Love Life and for Love Life Sunshine. But here's how the neo-standard legalities work for these sets, as far as we can tell. Love Life School Idol Festival 10th, you can play on its own. Love Life School Idol Festival 2, you can play on its own. The Love Life cards from both 10th Anniversary and School Idol Festival 2 can be played with OG Love Live. The Love Life Sunshine cards from 10th Anniversary and Love Life School Idol Festival 2 can be played with OG Love Live Sunshine. So, some complicated Neo Standard legalities there. Point is, the original Love Live gets some support, Love Live Sunshine gets some support, probably not enough to make either of them like super meta relevant or anything, but they do get some support. And these two new sets also have their own stuff you can do with them, but not together. So a bit of a complex web, but there is some support for the old stuff as well as two brand new Love Live sets. We also got an announcement for a date for Ruby Premium. That will be June 28th, and that is the last date that we have currently on the calendar. The other thing that was announced during the stream was Springfest 2024. There will be a regional trios event, as there has been for the past several years. There will also be local shop challenges. Schedule is up for the regional championship. I'm assuming they're going to add more dates. They've projected it as being from March to August. The latest date on the calendar is currently in June, but there are some TBAs uh, further down the list. So still waiting to see uh, maybe the rest of that schedule fill out before we actually get into March. But the first event is only about a month away. The California Trio is taking place on March 3rd. March 2nd and 3rd is the weekend. Weiss usually day two. So same rules apply. Three players to a team. Each player has to play a different set. And then we also have the Shop Challenge. But first, regional prizes, Brandon. We have some Weiss prizes for Springfest. A little different than normal. Don't see anything about play mats or anything like that, but we do have some promos. Um, there's the free fight promo, the participation promo, and the champion promo. Yeah, I actually expect that we might get some in more information about some of those things actually post worlds. But yeah, we have the free fight promo, the participation promo, and a first place prize promo. Like I suspect we'll see more dealing with like top cut or top four or something like that, top three, like we did last year. I suspect we'll see something at some point, but as of yet, nope, that this is all that we have so far. Yeah, they usually do something for at least top four, so I would expect to see something long-term. Something interesting also is that for Vanguard, all participants are receiving a promo card randomly from an eight-card series, whereas in Weiss, 
everybody gets the same promo for participation. And it is the uh, the 2-1 refresh backup in Licorice Recoil. Shop challenges are also happening. The only thing on the line here is promos. So there's no uh, first round buy or anything like that. This is spring shop challenge, so you're just playing for promos. The only promo for Weiss is the participation promo, which is Kai from Guilty Gear. A uh, decent card, pay one, pitch one, top check three, and then when you slam a climax, uh, you can reveal the top card. If it's a character, give something one soul, so it's fine. I don't know if it'll actually see play, but it's not a bad card. If you go top three at your shop challenge, you get a copy of that card with the hot stamp. And that's it. <laughs> that's all we've got for shop challenge right now. They also announced an additional event as well. Attend eight events and get a promo kind of idea. Uh, so if you attend eight different events with your Bushy Navi, you're then able to, at a regional, be able to submit for and get a special promo card. Yeah, if you attend eight or more monthly shop tournaments starting January 1st, ending June 30th, you will receive a flare on Bushy Navi called Eight Hit Wonder. You show that flare to uh, someone at a Springfest event, and you will get the 2-1 Bridget promo. It's a refresh backup. Card itself is fine, but it's relevant because it's the only Bridget card that we've gotten for Guilty Gear, and I think a lot of people were really hoping that we were going to see Bridget in the main set, so I expect that this is going to be a really popular card. You can only redeem it starting in April, so if your Springfest is in March... Um, you will either need to attend another one, or they haven't made all the details clear. I don't know if there's a way to redeem it at a local shop. There's a lot of There are a lot of details that they haven't really clarified for us yet. I hope they make it easy to acquire, because making it so that you have to attend eight monthly shop events over the course of, you know, two or three months to try to get it before April, if that's when your local regional is, kind of sucks. So I'm hoping that they make it easier to acquire, but we'll see what ends up happening. Card itself is pretty cool, and I think it's cool that they're trying to incentivize people to go to local events. At the same time, it sucks for people who don't have local events. Like, if you live in a place where there just isn't local Weiss, you're just kind of out of luck on this, and that sucks. This isn't like Magic or Pokemon, where there's, you know, a shop on every corner that does something. We'll see how that ends up working out, but as is, the Bridget promo is going to be available in some capacity. And that's it. Not a whole lot going on this week, but the spring season, you know, is about to ramp up very soon. We've got a new release coming up soon as well in Chainsaw Man that a lot of people are expecting to be pretty good in English. So we'll have more stuff for that starting on Thursday with Five Cards, Five Minutes. Next week, Brandon will have a deck tech, and then we'll have some gameplay for it the following Thursday. And in two weeks, there's always the possibility that Bushy will just drop something in our lap. And if they do, we will definitely be talking about it. But until next time, regardless, thank you so much for joining us. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one. We'll see you then.